Hello. Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the Karate Framework tutorial guys. So I'm getting a couple of uh, queries from most of the people asking me to explain the latest configuration on this uh, Karate Framework as few other people are facing some issues with this configuration part. That's the reason I'm creating this particular video to explain you more about this configuration part. We have already created certain videos on a Karate configuration part precisely in the year of 2023 but uh, these days few people are requesting uh, from a questioner column basically to address a couple of points related to this configuration. That's the reason I'm creating this video to discuss majorly on a configuration as a first part and in the next video how exactly I can configure my Eclipse editor also would be covered as part of this lecture itself. As you all know that in order to work on this Karate framework these are the three uh, most important things that you need to set up in your machine. The first one is a Java okay you need to download and install java to your machine followed by you need to install eclipse editor where i'm using this eclipse editor to write down my karate framework code basically and as well as a maven of course so moving further whenever you want to trigger your code okay from the command prompt i need a maven and a postman is basically before putting the request into the karate framework if at all i want to cross check whether i was able to uh, hit the endpoint properly or not initially I will be cross-checking in a postman So let's get started with the Java installation. So in order to start with the Java you can search for JDK free download. So guys initially whenever I was recording this particular videos right the older versions of the videos that I have covered it was on a Java uh, you know 1.8 version later we covered with a Java 11 version now you know go with the JDK 17 depending on your operating system download this respect to Java in your machine as of now I'm using a Mac machine where I'm gonna download this DMG file basically okay I'm gonna download this DMG file to my machine whichever the Mac Java compatible version is there I'm just downloading this DMG file if at all you are using a Windows operating system depending on your OS version right download the Java exe file and another thing is consider that a few people may ask me a question Surendra I was already working on a selenium or I'm already working on a mobile automation do I need to download this setup yes you all know you have already configured a Java and then edit particularly in your machine you no need to re-download this stuff again whichever the versions that you have already downloaded with a Java and an Eclipse editor proceed with those versions okay with which I can say that if you have already uh, working on selenium guys basically you no need to download the Java you no need to download the Eclipse editor maybe you might have a installed a Maven in your machine if you haven't installed a postman just a download a postman a desktop uh, you know software to your machine or create an account in a postman.com an official website where it to validate those requests That's it. If you are already working on selenium don't download a Java and Eclipse editor again If you are a completely new then download a Java and Eclipse editor So once after you are done with the downloads, you know on a Mac I'm downloading the DMG file double tap on that DMG file and proceed with the installation part and if at all you are working on a Windows once after you downloaded the exe file double tap on that exe file and proceed with the installations just like a regular installation of any other software go with that particular installation for suppose if at all while downloading the software and while configuring this one if you are encountering issues feel free to drop me an email happy to help you out okay perfect I'm done with this particular Eclipse uh, sorry the Java now let's go with this Eclipse editor so Eclipse editor free download I'm just navigating to this official website download the exe file so whenever I downloaded I am on a Mac so hence it's gonna download the compatibility related to the Mac or whenever you are working on it's gonna download the compatibility related to your Windows machine it's up to you just download wherever or whichever the machine that you are connecting just download this particular Eclipse exe files also okay download this Eclipse exe files also okay perfect once after you are done with the Eclipse installation or a downloading part double tap on that exe file finish the installation steps of that particular Eclipse editor 
okay if at all you are working on a windows machine you will be downloading an exe file if at all you are working on a mac machine you will be downloading a dot dmg file double tap on that particular file and complete your installation and once you are done with your eclipse editor installation you do see an eclipse icon on your desktop and simply double tap on that eclipse ide on your desktop and simply launch it at the very first time whenever you are launching your eclipse editor it will ask you to select the workspace where exactly you want to save your code so go with this default location and click on a launch button as and when you clicked on this particular launch button your editor is gonna load okay so far what we have done is I have shown you how to download Java and I have shown you how to download this particular Eclipse editor also and once you are done with this particular thing the next thing is a Maven so whenever you are working on your machines right so directly search for Maven downloads okay download this particular Maven and simply download this particular zip file okay binary zip file download this particular binary zip file if at all you are working on a windows machine the additional step that you guys need to do on a windows machine is you need to update your environmental variables okay you need to update your environmental variables basically with a java location you need to update your environmental variables with java location and of course this maven location also you need to update your environmental variables with a java and as well as a maven location so whenever you are working on our mac basically basically you need to update the bash profiles okay we need to update the bash profiles in this particular mac okay good enough so how i'm gonna update this particular mac bash profiles means i will be connecting from a windows machine in a while and then i will show you how to update the environmental variables but for now i'm showing you this particular mac bash profile so i just navigated to my user user and i'm pressing Control shift dot which will show all the hidden files from where you have a bash profile right click on it and open with a text editor as and when you open with a text editor see here export maven home m2 home and as well as a maven home as and when you downloaded that particular binary zip file unzip it and whichever the path is there get that particular path and put it here as a export and even along with that you need to update your java home here okay you need to update your java home in the bash profile once after you are done with the update just to save it and additionally along with the bash profile while working on a mac try to update this particular jet profile too ideally whichever the content that you have in a bash profile simply copy paste it in a jet profile so this is the way how exactly you can update this particular configuration part okay we just downloaded java we just downloaded the eclipse editor and then we have updated the mac bash profiles i'll show you how can we do this particular windows environmental variables moving further not at this particular point if you see basically the next one is java is done eclipse is done maven configuration is also done the next one is a postman ideally if you want to work on a postman in your local right download it if you don't want to work on your local directly create an account in a postman go with a sign up and then directly you do have an access to this particular postman so i'm trying to sign in into my uh, postman directly here okay directly i just created an account on my browser and i'm just signing it moving ahead whenever i want to validate any particular request right i no need to launch my postman directly i can use a postman.com where i can handle my uh, you know api verification from this particular place guys okay so you can go with a new request and you can validate your request from here rather than going it uh, with respect to this one right which is from a desktop software I prefer going it from a postman official website that's it done up to this particular point guys so far we are done with all these basic configuration the next thing that it is pending is we need to configure this karate framework in the eclipse editor so let us go ahead 
and have a look into how exactly I can create a Karate framework code base within my Eclipse editor. Let's have a look into that. Okay, and in order to configure this particular Karate, we have a two different options. The first one is I can create a normal Maven project and directly I can specify the dependencies that I have listed down here. This is the first option. And the second option is even I do have an option to directly create this Karate artifact so what i'm doing right now is go to file new and i'm going with a maven based project okay i'm just going with a maven based project leave it is and go to the next screen so here i was just filtering with the karate okay i was just filtering with this particular karate so let's wait here so the karate you know com dot in into dot karate so where i was just choosing the latest version click on it and the group id and the artifact id is Karate latest code base. Okay, Karate latest code base. This is the artifact ID and a group ID that I have given for it. And I clicked on this particular finish button. So it will take a few minutes to create this Karate, uh, you know, project in my editor. So on the left hand panel, if you see basically Karate latest code base got created and if I expanded it basically it has a pom.xml and by default my Java version is a Java 11 which is good enough itself okay which is good enough itself let me refresh my project once okay let me refresh my project once and if I expand this SRC test Java you have an examples you have an example dot user you have a Karate configuration dot a JS file basically this Karate configuration of course we have a couple of videos on this a configuration file how exactly we can tweak the environments and all those things would be done using this karate configuration and if you see basically these examples this examples has a feature file okay a sample example on a feature file and a sample example on this particular runner class also so what I'm gonna do right now is I can use this files or these packages even I can delete that information also I don't want to use this one I just want to go with my own packages so I'm creating my own package com dot API automation okay I'm just going with my API automation within this particular package itself I'm gonna create my runner class within this particular package itself I'm gonna create my feature files so a small example on this particular one we will see in the next lecture but right now we have a scene how exactly you can download the Java how exactly you can download the Eclipse Maven Postman and then how can we create a Maven based project and directly I can my I can get my karate and before that if you have a look into the pom.xml file it has all the karate specific dependencies that were added to this particular project guys okay perfectly all right see you again in the next session where i'll be creating a small example with this configuration okay thank you